Rudy here, and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. Today is a very exciting day. We're going to create a, a thimble reed farm, you know, a thimble reed, one of these here, so we can harvest reed fiber, and that will allow us to make Atmo suits at our Exo Suit Forge and greatly aid in our exploration and colonization of these deadly biomes of slime and ice. Now, I think I've, I've been trying to figure out where I want to make the farm. My first thought was right over here, but the temperature isn't quite right. I'm gonna actually build the farm down here because conditions can be hardly more ideal. We have the proper temperature, you know, we need to be about t between 20 degrees Celsius and 40 degrees Celsius, right in the middle here. We also have tons of local polluted water, which is also at the right temperature, and we need that for irrigation. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna dig out a chamber over here, I think. You know, we, we could even just make this our farm right down here without too much digging. We can uproot all these plants. What we're gonna need is we're going to need hydroponic farm tiles. Because we need to use the hydroponic farm tiles because we need to... Oh wow, we're gonna need metal for hydroponic farm. Yeah, farm tiles only require dirt. So, hydroponic farm tiles require metal. You know what, let's uh... Get some more iron first. We can just mine some iron right here. No, no B deal. No big deal. That should hopefully be all the iron that we need for this little project anyway. Get to it, lads. There goes Winston and Robespierre working together. And they're all coming in. Okay, so we got some iron. The iron... Iron ore, that is. It's not refined iron. Okay, well, we could probably start queuing up our farm tiles now. Food. Hydroponic farm. We're gonna make these out of iron. Okay, I think we are pretty much ready. So what I've done here in that little time lapse is I, of course, built the farm. I built a chamber for polluted water with my pump. It's all hooked up electrically speaking, and we have pipes going from the pump down here to my farm. So I guess I'm just going to seal off this room, or yeah, I'm, I'm going to put some kind of door here, have a duplicate come in here and open up so all the polluted water comes down and drenches the pump. Uh, we have a transformer up here with wire coming all the way down here to our pump. You know, this little transformer here can supply power for whatever it is that we might need in this section of the base. And I guess eventually we'll just probably mine out a lot of the slime and clay and build all kinds of fancy walls and other infrastructure. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess there's not much left to do. So let's stop beating around the bush and get it done. Let's put an airlock there. Come on. Make that slightly higher priority. So the occupational upgrade will be coming out pretty soon. I'm not sure if I'm going to switch to it right away, though. Because I think I might want to stay on this base for a while. Oh, Picasso. Go, go, get, get up there. Yeah, I, might, I think I want to stay on this base for a while before I introduce the havoc of a new upgrade. Who knows how that's going to change things, but I will definitely be hitting up the occupational upgrade in the near future once I get this base to a great spot. I'll probably start a new game then, too. Or maybe I'll try out this base. So once they wake up, we'll be able to finish off our project here. We'll be able to grow some thimble reed, which is currently halted due to lack of irrigation. Oh, the door is done. Okay, perfect. All we need to do is send someone down here to dig out two blocks, and then we'll have the polluted water. Now, I'm doing it this way because I don't want any duplicates going into the polluted water itself. Like, I don't want to go in here to build a pump and have a duplicate. I mean, it probably doesn't matter. I'm sure the duplicates could handle it. But let's just do things 
the correct way, perhaps. And this will work out perfectly. All right, who's gonna be it? Winston. All right, get out of there. No! All right, well, we can cancel this. And of course, they're all gonna come in here to pick stuff up. Okay, you know what? Uh, yeah, what, what the hell are these guys doing? They're just suddenly obsessed with coming in this room. We shall make it so that they cannot enter anymore by using this handy permission. Go! Now, now, it is sealed. Perfect. So now we have, uh... Yes, yes, we have a nice stream of 30 degrees Celsius polluted water irrigating our thimble reeds, and it's a nice temperature that they prefer. That makes me glad. Let's make another hydroponic farm tile in here as well. And let's sweep up all this garbage. Let's make a nice looking farm. Yes, they're growing. Perfect. This is beautiful. Alright, so I'm working on my uh, cooling jacket. It's not. It's going to be more of a passive cooling system than anything else. I'm just going to surround this with cold hydrogen gas. Like, we can put a wheeze wart in here that'll keep the hydrogen gas cold. And we'll close this off and we can just pump in hydrogen gas. And that should work out pretty well. All these pipes are made out of abyssalite, so I don't think I need to worry about the contents getting frozen. But if that were to happen, I have plenty of algae, 10 tons in fact, and I could fall back on, you know, algae deoxidizers as, as a backup, as a redundant source of oxygen. Let's queue up some more research. Let's go for, yeah, whatever. We're gonna get all this research pretty quick. Oh yeah, did I mention we found oil? So pretty soon we're gonna start being able to make plastics. But as we go down into this biome, we really should have some exosuits. It'll help out a lot. All right, so that was quick. So you know what, Let's. Uh, we're still waiting for the thimble reed to grow. We might as well go into the ice biome and get us get us some Weezworts, miracle creatures that they are, defying all law, all known laws of physics. They, they just completely defy them. You know, interestingly enough, my base has very low power requirements. I'm just running, like, this machinery, which doesn't even run all the time. And I got some pumps and everything. My one, my coal generator and my hydrogen generator give everything I need, really. Why are you squelched? Bad body temperature? What? What's the issue? Oh, I guess he's growing. He's growing now. I'm not sure what his issue was before. We also have some dust caps. We can make a dust cap for him, too, if we wanted to. But I don't want to. Maybe later. cancel that. Alright, we're gonna be breaking into the ice biome pretty soon. My, a, a nice minus 32 degrees Celsius. Holy crap. Such temperature. Okay, looks like we actually got some reed fiber now. Okay, okay. Excellent. Let's make some exosuits finally. Atmo suits, I should say. How, how, let's just queue up as many as we can. Okay, they're delivering the copper. Industrial ingredient? Yeah, we're out of reed fiber, but there'll be more reed fibers. This is gonna be one hell of a system, guys. Who's gonna be the one to do the task? There goes the boss, Stalin, making some fine, fine Russian Atmo suits. You can count on them. Beautiful. There we go. Excellent. Grabbing their reed fiber. And so now what this will allow us to do is make a exosuit checkpoint. So we need exosuit docks to actually hold the exosuit. Okay, to make these exosuit exosuit docks, we're going to need some refined iron, I guess. I don't want to use my copper for this, so let's actually... Queue up some iron refining. Iron ore. Yes, please. 
More research, please. Oh man, there's so much stuff to research now. Uh, we're, we're gonna want to go for plastic manufacturing. We need the polymer press, because I want to make plastic so then I can make high pressure vents. Then we can pump this area, filled with tons and tons of hydrogen. Ah, yes. In the meantime, though, we can just plant the Weezboard here. I mean, why not? We can queue up two exosuit docks. We also need an exosuit checkpoint, which also requires refined materials. I think we'll find plenty of iron, so this is fine. Okay, exosuit checkpoint. We'll throw it right there. Okay, so uh, there's a couple of other things we need to do with these exosuits to get them fully operational. As I'm sure some of you may be aware of. We need to pump in oxygen to the suits. Gas pipe. Alright, so we can just... Hmm, yeah, we might want to activate our second electrolyzer system since a lot of this oxygen is going to get diverted to our exosuits. So we can make the pipes out of sandstone, that's fine. Let's pause this for a moment. We'll send this pipe right up here. Yeah, and I guess we'll just go in here. We'll make a, a gas bridge. And we'll let the duplicates work on that for a while. Oh yeah, we of course also need to power the exosuit docks. Okay, deliver an exosuit here. We've got oxygen coming into our suit docks. Okay, so yeah, it, in just a couple of minutes we're gonna be able to send two duplicates down here in exosuits to do some pretty serious work. We're gonna go down into this into this crude oil biome. Like, all, all we really need to do is build a pump down here and pump up some oil. Let's see, what do we have? Have we researched? Yes, the oil refinery. We still need to research that. Turns crude oil into petroleum natural gas. I think we're currently researching that, or we just finished researching that. Yeah, we just got fossil fuel, so now we can build our oil refinery. Excellent. Uh, yeah, let's get digging down. Okay, we'll make our sandstone ladders. And let's have exosuit team. Send in the exosuit team. Arr, yes, Charlemagne. Our first exosuit here. And he delivered some sandstone, and now he's leaving. Yeah, that's a bit problematic. Okay, I think what we could do is let's build a storage compactor down here and just fill it up with sandstone. So hopefully they'll use that storage compactor sandstone. I, I really do hope that's the case. It's very nice sound effects, I must say. All right, here we're gonna put sandstone. Let's see, raw mineral. Make that priority six. Now, I'm really hoping this helps them with delivering materials to build these ladder segments. I'm really hoping. Okay, I guess that was pretty good. I just saw Gavrillo. Yeah, he's getting the sandstone from the compactor. He's digging and building the ladders. Perfect. That is the type of intelligence I want to see from my duplicates. And I like how I have my... my my uh, fire pole here so we can sort of maximize exosuit time at the job site. Yes. Perfect. They're getting the sandstone and they're doing the work. That that just makes me really happy. It makes me feel smart for setting it up, setting it up that way. And of course we can further uh, expedite things by building more fire pole segments. Okay, we have insufficient oxygen generation, apparently. I could believe it, since we are diverting a lot of 
O2 down to our exosuits, but things look fine to me. Oh yeah, this they're kind of depleted of oxygen. I don't think it's anything we need to worry about in the immediate future, though. Maybe in the next episode we'll probably want to do something about this. Build some airlocks and doors, something like that, to sort of keep the oxygen contained within the duplicate habitation zone. The DHZ, as they like to call it. Once we venture further into the depths, 80 degrees Celsius, and we got some slicksters. We can let all of our carbon dioxide fall down here. The slicksters consume the CO2, and they produce oil. A very, very excellent little creature these slicksters are. Beautiful. And we don't even care about this polluted water. We're just, we're invulnerable to the environment. All right, Picasso. Never, I bet you never thought you'd be down here. You were a painter, but now you're an exosuit engineer. Okay then, so we have hit the oil. This is great, we've built a pump here. We have no oil refinery yet, but we can set one up soon. We'll have a pipe going all the way up to, well, wherever we make that oil refinery, but that's gonna be in another episode. So this should be enough oil to get us started. And that is all for today. I'm gonna let the duplicants de-stress for a bit in the nice, happy base. They won't do anything for a couple cycles, maybe. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you next time. Hit that thumbs up and have a good one.